it's Jean here, Jean True Love from True Love Quotes for you. I hope you're having a, a lovely day. Um, I just wanted to thank you very, very much. One of the last videos I had put up was um, a, a, like a little video of, of our family and me and somebody had asked about it and it was just a silly thing. I really enjoy making those videos. I've made them over the years for the children and for the family. It's nice. And I got so many awesome, wonderful comments. And I, I really... I really want you guys to know that, you know, all of the like, you're so blessed and you're so loving and you're so wonderful. <laughs> As you know, every one of us has issues and problems and challenges in a large, in a family, in a large family, in a small family. And we were absolutely no, no exception to that rule. Um, we had many, many trials sometimes, obviously. And I, I chose to put up all the pictures that were lovely. <laughs> We always did smile. I was saying to somebody, um, somebody had said, um, all, of the, all of the children are smiling. They look at the camera. It was interesting because my husband and I don't mind getting our pictures taken. I think that's three quarters of the way. If you're going to get a nice picture, don't mind it. Like now I have to go through about 10, 10 shots to get a decent shot as I've gotten older. But I used to think, you know, just smile when you see the camera. So many people are like, I hate getting my picture taken. Don't take my, well, then you're going to take a really crummy picture, right? But if you just like, okay, just smile. So we sort of taught our children from an early age, when you see a camera, you turn, you smile, make it a genuine smile because that's okay. Make a genuine smile. And stand still and smile. And so it was funny, whenever we had our family photographs taken, uh, one of the photographers, I think we had, did we have all 10 children? Maybe we had nine children. They're all dressed up really nice. We go to this studio and inevitably the photographer is thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> here comes this large family. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. Well, not that our children are robots, but they were obedient because we taught them very, very early. You know, when you see a camera, you, you don't touch anything, you don't mess about. We have a purpose in mind. We're going to go get our family picture taken. You're going to stay clean for 10 minutes. <laughs> when we go in, this is what we say. When we go in, you don't touch anything. You're going to stand where you're told. You're not going to worry about anybody else. You're going to stand. You're going to look at the camera. <laughs> you don't worry about so who's fidgeting. Don't worry about that. Mom and dad will take care of that. <laughs> and so... I remember the one guy, he really was rolling his eyes, I could see, and I'm thinking, you just wait. Sure enough, about 20 minutes later, he got all of the lovely pictures. He couldn't believe it. He's like, wow, <laughs> they were obedient kids. Not that we, again, not that we had robots or anything, but we, as far as pic picture taking. So, so many of the pictures we have of the children are really nice.
in a comment. To this day, our daughter-in-laws thank us because they're like th our boys and their husbands. They they're all we're picture nuts. They'll see a camera and they'll they'll be busy working or they'll be busy doing something. They don't want a picture taken. But our daughter-in-laws have always said to us, they see the camera, they turn, they smile. <laughs> It's just something else. Um, the one thing I just wanted to tell you is when um, we had our 20th wedding anniversary, you saw that picture. Um, if you hadn't seen that video, it's one of the previous videos, the tidbits of my life. And another picture of our of all of our 10 children because I, I made reference to that all of our children were there that was a wonderful 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 party that really was like my friends as bridesmaids and we had a tent and a marquee and oh it was just so wonderful in a friend's back garden it was beautiful it was a day a day to remember so again thank you so very much everybody for your your kindness and your well wishes i uh, just one thing before i get to my true love challenge uh projects i'm just going to address a few um this morning i just got a text from our daughter <laughs> it's so funny um she she had texted a picture of a bowl of porridge that she had made. I'll put the I'll put the picture up. This touched our heart because as the children were growing up, we would make porridge oatmeal for our kids. And Ian especially was like, you have to eat your porridge. You have to eat your porridge. So when the children were school age, Ian would make porridge. And every morning he would take to various of the kids, if they were, you know, if, if they were at home, he would take a bowl of hot porridge, maybe with some jam or some honey. And he would go in and like, oh, you know, lovely darlings, you know, wake up. Here's your porridge. And he'd put it next to their bedside table. Inevitably, the boys would be like, go away, Dad. I'm, not, I'm sleeping. Stop it with the porridge. But then they'd come out about 20 minutes later like, that was really nice porridge. Thanks, Dad. Empty, scraped full. To this day, I don't know how many texts we've gotten from all of our nine boys and our daughter this morning. We really miss Dad coming in our bedroom <laughs> with porridge. All of the times we blew him off. Like, go away, Dad. But like now, they're all married, have children. Like, I wish someone would bring me a hot bowl of porridge, <laughs> like dad. So it was so sweet when I got that text this morning from our daughter. That was the loveliest thing. Made my day. So now, on to my True Love Challenge quilts. Um, my True Love Challenge, as you, as you know, um, I did about five months ago. Um, I had chosen six fabrics, five of which you needed to use, or the... Um, similar fabric too as you know i had sort of two dots a stripe two patterns and like an all over rainbow so if you couldn't find these exact fabrics which again i had uh shown you months ago in my playlist how i got how i got them and quite a few people had received them so they were my six challenge fabrics i have a playlist as i said of people who have already sent me in a challenge they a quilt that they challenge themselves a small quilt um i have just a few more i'd like to share with you um this one is from uh sue and uh it's lovely it says hi jean hope this works i posted on facebook and then i heard jen say the email so i'm sending pictures um i've already gifted this quilt it was hard for me all the blocks were not the same size, so I had to add fabrics for the size. This is awesome. Now, I see she used more of a orange print, um, but I see the stripe, I see the dots, 
um i see a blueprint it's just so super i see the all over rainbow and um yeah it is just the loveliest thing i think that's awesome so sue here is your quilt thank you so very very much you had posted sending pictures in true love quilts for you at gmail.com the deadline is march 15th i won't be going over any other true love challenge quilts after march 5th well at, at at march 15th i'll be receiving them and then i'll be chatting about them that's awesome thank you very so very much so the next quilt sent to me is from pauline pauline you know who you are thank you so much i wanted to share my true love quilt challenge quilt with you. I did the best I could to match the fabrics to your original choices. She couldn't get the same ones. That in itself was a challenge, absolutely. I had a lot of fun with this quilt and it marked a first, a few firsts for me, which is, that's super. That was the challenge to challenge yourself, not a contest or anything like that or what anybody else was doing. I recently found an Accu Quilt Go on Facebook Marketplace and hadn't had the opportunity to use it yet. I found the pattern for this quilt in the book that came with it, and I used three of the dies and the eight inch block cube to cut all of the pieces. I also quilted it with my straight stitch machine, my baby lock Jane. I have a long arm, oh wow. So I rarely quilt on my home sewing machines. In any case, here it is. It is wonky in every way, but I had fun making it. Um, on a different note, I wanted to say how much I appreciate you and your tutorials. I've been watching your tutorials for years and feel like you're a dear friend. I sincerely hope you find a home to settle in soon. And so do we there, Pauline. Thank you. Take good care, Jean, and thank you for all you do. Ah, oh, that's so kind of you. We're fine here. We're okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Got to keep positive every day. And here, I see, I see the semblance of the challenge fabrics, you did really, really well. That was a challenge. Pauline, awesome job. Here's your quilt. Thank you. interesting one the challenge was to make a small quilt but this person um, let me see Terry you know who you are came up with something really unique that I really want to share with you guys boy people putting their thinking caps on dear Jean my name is Terry and I've been following you for two years let me tell you first I am NOT a quilter why are you here Terry <laughs> I have made two baby quilts and found out it was not for me good for you go on to something different what have you gone on to? I love to read and crochet, but I'm a card maker. And I can do cards all the time, especially new techniques. Why do I follow a quilter? Good question, right? When I do not quilt. Well, the first time I've seen one of your videos, I was hooked. 
I like the way you talk fast, LOL. And always have a great laughter and how you share your lovely family, by the way, who are all beautiful. Oh, thank you. So I was thinking, how can I do a quilt? How can I do quilting with my paper stash? By the way, I have as much paper as you have fabric. I took your quilt challenge to my paper stash and I made okay. cards. I used five out of six colors from your fabric to my paper pattern. Burgundy Paisley, Rainbow Bright, Red Polka Dots, Colorful Hearts, and Multi Strikes. The only one I didn't use would match so well was the Kaleidoscope Teal. But if you look at the butterflies, they're somewhat darker teal color. So voila, I made my cards using your fabric colors. I think I came close. I used black as my base. Card. This style of cards is called stack and cut. It reminds me of a quite crazy quilt. As for the in-between, the, pa the pattern paper, I used what we card makers called peel-offs to replace the thread. I had fun doing these cards, and I hope you enjoy seeing what I did for your quilt challenge. Keep up the good work for your videos. I will be there watching them. Please say hi to Ian and Maxwell for me. Sincerely, Terry. Oh my word, these are so super, Terry. They're actual cards. How awesome is that? You really did challenge yourself, Terry, and I think that's absolutely super. So here are Terry's cards. I will be showcasing these in the order that I have received them. So if you have sent me, if you have emailed me a picture, don't worry. I will be getting to it in, in future videos. This because last one is from Joe. Joe, you know who you are. Hi, Jean. In close, please find pictures of the fabrics and the finished quilt I put together for your quilting challenge. I could not find a suitable red burgundy paisley print. I went to my stash for the striped red and white dot and the white multicolor dot triangle. So I used five fabrics, plus I added some blue, teal, and white backgrounds from my stash. I started quilting in 2021, so I still consider myself a beginner with so much yet to learn. I plan to donate this little quilt, 50 by 40 by 52, to the Linus Project or a similar or local organization in need of baby quilts. You will probably recognize some of the blocks as I turn to your 2018 block party for ideas. 11 of the 12 blocks were new to me. I enjoyed following your tutorials and piecing them together. I wasn't sure how these fabrics would look pieced together in a sampler block format, but they do work. Of course they work. We're putting fabrics together. If you love the fabrics and if you love the block and if you love quilting, your quilt's going to be wonderful, magnificent. <laughs> Feedback I've received has been positive. Of course it has, Jen, with comments like, it looks citrusy, bright, and fun. I long, oh, you have a long arm too, flipping that. I long, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I, re, I, re, I got ahead of myself. I long armed this with a pantograph pattern called Double Bubble 2 by Urban Elements. Love Urban Elements. I know two women locally who co-own a long arm, and they let me use it whenever I have a quilt that needs to be quilted. We all help each other out on long arming days with loading the three parts onto the frame. Plus, it's good to have a second pair of eyes watching for any stitching and machine issues. Wow. Thank you for spearheading this quilting challenge. Oops. And I, I enjoyed it and learning so much working on it. Love, Joe. The pics of the fabric I used are for the quilt top, the quilt backing, and a close-up of the long arm quilting. Joe, you knocked it out of the park. Here are Joe's pictures.
thank you so much, Joe. I think that's really interesting about the long arm. The long arm, people have asked me repeatedly over the years, would I like a long arm quilting machine? Which actually in this room I could have because you need a really large room. Um, a long arm quilting machine is the, the big long frame that you can load onto the rollers. You guys know what I'm talking about. But, but if you're new here, you load your quilt, your backing, your batting, and your quilt top on three separate rollers. They get all rolled together and a machine, either computer generated or you generating it, um, can quilt out the design, laying it flat on the rollers. People have asked me, I wanted one desperately. Of course I did. I was a quilter when I started, right? And I think, I, again, I've dressed this before. I went to a quilt show many, many years ago. And there at the quilt shows um, are long arm dealers, uh, many of them. Um, and you can sort of kick the tires and do your homework. And they have models that you can test drive. Well, I was desperate, so I, I got up and they have, um, they have like sometimes multicolor thread on black so you can see what you're doing. And they have sort of like, it's sort of like, um, ram, like ram horse handles that you can guide the machine or there's a computer generated design. Um, I, I tried it because Maxwell, I believe in Elliot was at the quilt show and Ian, of course, go try it, go try it. I tried it and I, it was sort of like wah, wah. I didn't enjoy it. Now then was then, maybe now would be different. I felt because I'm short and plus size and I'm heavy, I felt that it was, it was hard for me. It was hard for me to sort of, to, to sort of hold the machine and figure out the, you know, look at the, look at the, either the design or the pantograph and follow the design or whatever it was, I felt it extremely awkward. And, and, and right then and there, the whole idea of a long arm, thank goodness for my husband, because they're the, they're the price of new cars. Nowadays, even still, they are the price of new cars. I mean, they have financing, you know, you mortgage your, you know, your third child for it. Like they're expensive, expensive. So it is such an investment. However, it's an investment that if you're going to be, as, as, this, as, as Joe was saying, you're, you're sharing it, maybe you're sharing the cost, or you're actually becoming so proficient that you can actually quilt these large quilts for people. What a lucrative business. What a lucrative business. Because as I always say, long arm quilting now, um, perhaps the quilting generation is getting a little bit older. No, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that because I know there's young quilters, but a lot of people don't fancy quilting their quilt. They do the quilt top, so they send them out to long arm quilters. It is a business because it can be expensive, but you think about it, the, the overhead that these people have, the, the storage, the area that they're putting it in, um, the, the, the cost, the initial cost, they have to get their money back. Um, and to me, it's well worth it. It does a very beautiful job. So Joe, beautiful, beautiful job. Um, I'm, I have some more my true love quilt challenge. Uh, coming so stay Be tuned I just and again I thank you so very much folks for all your for all your love it's really really lovely and as usual love from the true loves bye